Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? Today I have really interesting interesting car part in here and this is start motor. And my today's videos this uh, topic is that how works this start motor and how 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 to test this my current start motor basic basic things. And, and I will show next that how the start motor really works and how to uh, test that little bit with real battery. And next I will move in here this real battery and there is now this, this real car battery in there and there is also this 60 60 ampere car battery and next I am planning to connect that battery's cables in, in this start motor that we can see that how this start motor really works and this start motor's purpose is only purpose is that that when we are starting our car this wheel start to move using that battery and there is also electric wires in here and one wire goes to ignition key and when we rotate this our cars ignition key in that way tick then this wheel metallic wheel start to rotate and then engine moves engine pistons and parts start to move and when a spark plug gives spark and gasoline flies in spray sprays uh, spray gasoline in this piston area then engine start to run but this is so really critical part especially in automatic automatic transmissions and and that that means that that when when we start this ignition key the starter ta start to run but before of that it happens two things two step first is that when this starter is in this engine body there are those holes there are two bolts first this starter like uh, fires this feel in a little bit up uh, out in this starter in that way it is like it goes out something like I think that I insert half inches half inches out and the purpose is that actually now it went longer in there okay it, it is almost one inch two two centimeters or one inch and that idea is that first is it hits that in here it like uh, moves this wheel and then this start to move in here and that part takes contact to this engine's fly feel and there are similar uh, shapes that they, they take connection and then when when we do end when we end this car starting in ignition key that part in here it comes back in here that way it moves in here and then this big fly field moves in here and engine is running okay but but then I like to demonstrate that how this starter works and first there is idea that we need to know that that how these cables goes and there is idea that that there is plus plus goes in here because there is this you can see there is this, this insulation in here, rubber. This is like insulated insulation, and there is also plus cable in here because there is this rubber part. But we need to connect only in here this cable and and then also this ground minus minus what is in here. This minus it goes to this ground. Okay, and ne next I will do those cable things and we can use this only is this in that testing purpose 
this this uh, very thin electric cable is fine but in normally these battery cables they are really thick they are like sa almost same amount than my finger because there goes huge amount of power this actually this starter takes the most of this car battery energy energy when it moves and like this starter this is two horsepower powerful starter like 1.4 kilowatts starter and it is big and soon we will see that how this works but before of that I will do those my cable connections that we can test that okay and then I have very nice cables this is like minus and plus and I insert that my cables there we can see plus this goes in here and that black one it goes in in that area and, and we have to be carefully that when we connect both of these that there is no any electricity this uh, electricity things that that I have connect these cables to get her because it is very bad situation because then then this battery can go bad and also my cables can can melt down okay and and that's I I take my cables in here and then all, always red goes to plus and there are my cables and I connect that plus cable in here I have made in a small circle in here and, and here we have to be carefully that, that this cable can take contact can can can't take contact in this metallic body because then we are, are in troubles this is only place where we can connect this cable and I connect that in here that way and I am carefully that that those that those red cable parts they can only go in that area what is in here in here to here not in that area this is bad because this is minus area and then there is my bolt what I install in here good and then then I had this next cable what was this minus and minus goes all, always this ground like this cover area and I insert that in here okay and this is also good test that that is my start starter working and, and this this must be so tight that it is not loose let's go to look that closer and that means that that, that there is no any tolerance that it is tight okay I believe that this is now good okay there is connection and then then there is the last last cable is this like this uh, this cable what goes to this ignition key then I start this my car this is like this this many and this cable should go in this plus area and that's I I do so that that I insert that cable in here I insert in directly in that position that it is like always on and then I check that, that is this fast and yes it is ready and then then I need to be careful because this is like now this is my starter ignition key and I I do nice nice dual head and this must be copper copper wire and then I connect this is my minus cable in here this is my batteries minus area in here and in that position 
I have to be carefully that I I knop that little bit that there is no any any issues because sometimes there can be misly miswire. Now it's in there, and then if everything goes fine, this my red cable is ready, and then when I connect that cable area, there's actually wire place in there. We can see there's this copper part, and when I insert this wire, co goes in that area. What is wire goes normally in that area. Now I have to be carefully that I only, only I only touch. This is not. This is like demonstrative video. Do not do that in your home because there is risk that if you insert that cable now in that area, there can be happen big damage that this battery goes broken or then this starter goes broken As, and also something else and that's I I think that 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 I do this test and now is everything goes fine this this field should should start to move when I connect that cable in here let's do what happens okay look that and that. Okay, it's good. Okay. It runs. And then when I take that away, it stops. And there is also this thing that that this automatically starts that it it kicks that feel little bit away and then it next step is start to rotate okay let's do that again this is first step and then this it moves in here and third is that it start to move okay let's do I insert that in here okay and there is two two horsepower cores in there and then because there is so huge this this uh, this electricity th this cable start to uh, make smoke because this is too thin too thin cable normally these cables are thickness like my finger not so thin okay and let's do that again because this is so so nice and I like this this is like like pistols this lock when it moves in here and when I take away okay and there is a little bit smoke okay then then I do when I end that, that testing I take first this minus cable in here away and now now everything should be fine and then this plus cable away okay and this was this information how start and start motor and starter works and how to test in this basic test okay and thank and then remember that that in in uh, in, in different cars there are different these uh, things how, how this starter works but this is like in basic idea how how this works okay and thank you for watching and have a nice day to you